Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, let us demystify the term host environment. Okay, so host environment. So, what do you mean by host environment in JavaScript? So, let me select a pen of other shade. As we discussed in the introductory video, that JavaScript runs on an host environment. Okay, so it runs on something called as host environment. Let us completely demystify this. So JavaScript engine can be a part or can be executed in different environment. And the very most common use environment is called the browser environment. The most commonly used environment is your browser environment. Which you will find most often commonly used uh, for your front-end development so modern browsers have JavaScript engines built in like Chrome has V8 uh, Safari has some other uh, engine Firefox has spider monkey and they are therefore capable of executing the JavaScript code when you feed them but you can also run JavaScript code in other environments like in server environment so there are two type of environments you can run your JavaScript code in one is the browser environment other is the server side environment to learn how you can execute JavaScript code in a server environment check out the link for the video down below now JavaScript was invented to run in the browser okay to create more dynamic websites the initial purpose was to create more dynamic websites To be able to change things on the website without loading any page you could say now because javascript is able to closely work together with the loaded html code with css you can also use javascript to send http requests so javascript will help you in sending http requests in the background under the hood to fetch some data without loading the page and much more is possible which we will see in the coming videos. Now there are certain things that JavaScript cannot do when it runs on the browser environment. Let us discuss them as well. For example, it cannot access your local file system. So JavaScript cannot access your local file system. It is incapable of doing so. And this is how it was uh, implemented by the creators of JavaScript for the security sake. Okay, so it cannot access your local file system, of course, for security reasons, as I discussed, because then every web page uh, you visit will be able to read your file system. Maybe tamper, tampering of files uh, is possible then on your computer and so on. So you can see it is running in its own environment and it is not able to interact with the operating system and so on. The browser will give you certain things that you can do in this environment and does not allow other things. The browser environment is the one for which JavaScript was invented but not the only one to which we are restricted to right now. Instead the JS engine that Google developed. So Google developed a JavaScript engine V8. Now V8 was extracted to run JavaScript anywhere because the idea was that if we have the engine inside the browser, why not we take it out of the browser and then make it available as a standalone tool which you can use to execute JavaScript anywhere else and this tool is then called as node.js. So it's a runtime for your JavaScript code. The link for the tutorials for node.js can be found down the uh, down below the video. I'm also working on those tutorials so you will see them uh, in the coming weeks. So Node.js uh, can be executed on any machine. Okay, so it is machine independent. It can run on any machine and it's therefore often used to build website backends. So you can build website backends in Node.js. server-side JavaScript so you can run JavaScript on the back end as well as on the front end 
on the front end you can you just saw that we can work with the browser environment on the back end you use something called as node.js for javascript so node.js also has certain things it can do and it also has certain things it cannot do now since node.js runs on a machine in node.js you are able to access the file system so access to file system is allowed using a special package that you uh, that I will cover in Node.js tutorials using the FS core module that is available and with which Node.js ships with okay so where were we okay so you are able to access the local file system you can interact with the operating system etc which is the server on which it runs and not on your machine on the other hand since it doesn't have any direct access to the web page it cannot manipulate HTML or CSS which you can do easily with JavaScript because Node.js runs on server environment and therefore it has no interaction with your front-end code. So you cannot interact with the JavaScript on browser side using Node.js. Uh, you can easily manipulate HTML CSS with JavaScript but not with Node.js. If you are running JavaScript on the browser side, you can easily use DOM manipulation, which we will discuss in the coming videos, to manipulate HTML or CSS. So all in all, these are the different JavaScript environment in which you can run your JavaScript code. So in this series, our main focus will be on JavaScript on the browser side. So if you are loving the content, do subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video.